Royal Automobile Club. The Royal Automobile Club is a British private club. The Royal Automobile Club has two club houses, one in London at 8991 Pall Mall and the other in the countryside at Woodcote Park, Shuri, next to the City of London Freeman School. Like many other gentlemen's clubs in London today, the Royal Automobile Club now permits women to be members. History It was founded on 10 August 1897 at the Automobile Club of Great Britain in Letter Ireland. The headquarters was originally in the block of flats at 4 Whitehall Court moving to 119 Piccadilly in 1902. During 1902, the organization, together with the recently formed Association of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, campaigned vigorously for the relaxation of speed limits, claiming that the 14 mile per hour speed limit imposed by locomotives on Highway Act 1896 was absurd and was seldom observed. The organizations, with support from the Prime Minister Arthur Belfort, had considerable influence over the forthcoming Motor Car Act 1903, which originally proposed to remove all speed limits for cars while introducing the offense for driving recklessly. In the face of considerable opposition, a speed limit of 20 mph was retained in addition to the creation of the offense of driving recklessly, dangerously and negligently. In 1905, the club organized the first tourist trophy TT motorcycle race, the oldest regularly run motor race. The club became the governing body for motorsport in Britain. King Edward VII interest in motoring led to the command in 1907 that the Automobile Club of Great Britain and Ireland should henceforth be known as the Royal Automobile Club. In 1911 they moved to the current address part of the site of the old war office, the club house was and remains one of the largest in London, with the frontage to Paul Mall of 228 feet in depth, in the centre of 140 feet. It cost over a quarter of a million pounds, and is described in the Survey of London as polished essay in the late French Renaissance manner. The Royal Automobile Club was responsible for organising the first British Grand Prix, motor race in Brooklands, Surrey in 1926, and it also runs its sister organization MSA, formerly RAC MSA. In 1978, during the reorganization of the associate section, was established as a separate company, RAC Motoring Services Limited, which was owned by the organization. In 1991, the Royal Automobile Club Foundation was split off as the research arm of Royal Automobile Club Motoring Services. When Royal Automobile Club Motoring Services was sold in 1999, the foundation was granted a legacy and was subsequently established as a charity to research and promote issues of safety, mobility, economics and the environment related to the monitoring. In September 1999, members sold Royal Automobile Club Motoring Services to Lex Services PLC, who renamed themselves Royal Automobile Club PLC in 2002. Royal Automobile Club PLC was then acquired by Aviva PLC in March 2005 for around $1.1 billion. As of 2009, the membership subscription is £1,125 per year, with £455-755 raised for younger members. The entrance fee is on the sliding scale, ranging from additional £940, the youngest members, to £1,600 for most members. Associate section. Royal Automobile Club Motoring Services The Royal Automobile Club introduced uniform mobile patrols around the roads of Britain during 1901 with the patrolmen wearing a uniform not like the military police of the day, including tailored Jodhpur trousers. The patrolmen had an army-like rank structure with corporals, sergeants and officers mounted on much less motorbikes with sidecars containing a tool kit, fan belts, engine hoses and metal cans of spare patrol. They were usually located on standby at Labis and major road 
junctions. Until around 1930, control could only contact the mobile patrolmen by telephone, so they waited by public telephone boxes for call-out. From 1957 onwards, they were equipped with radio sets for two-way contact with their local headquarters. In 1912, following the lead of competitor organization, the Automobile Association, AA, the Royal Automobile Club installed roadside telephone on Libby's and junctions of main trunk road in the UK for members of someone help. Also, they were never as numerous as AA boxes. There was a measure of cooperation between the two motoring clubs. Keys fitted both types of box and members' messages were passed on. The telephones were installed in locked boxes painted in royal blue with Royal Automobile Club logo badge mounted on the top of the box. Members were provided with a key to two boxes when they joined the club. Members' cars were identified by a metal club badge, usually affixed to the radiator grill, and the patrolman would come to attention to salute as the member drove past, or if the patrolman was riding a motorcycle, merely salute. This practice was the basis of an official service given by the club to its members. Sometimes a patrolman would not salute when driving past. This was meant to be a warning that police had laid a speed trap up ahead, while the form of the warning not doing something made it difficult to prove any such thing had been done. The Royal Automobile Club ceased salutes by patrolmen in 1963. The Royal Automobile Club issued an annual guide and handbook that contained road maps of the UK with the location of all Royal Automobile Club telephone market on it, together with the list of local Royal Automobile Club approved garages and hotels. To give members an indication of the quality of each establishment, the Royal Automobile Club was one of the very first organizations to provide an easily recognizable grading system. Their inspector assessed each hotel and Harish and awarded between one and five stars in the case of hotels and one to three spanners to garages. The Royal Automobile Club disbanded its hotel inspection team in 2004. Motorcycle patrol gave way to small ones during the 1960s and 1970s the last motorcycle patrol had been passed out. The Royal Automobile Club telephone boxes were withdrawn from service when they were eclipsed by wider telephone ownership and by the 1990s only a handful still operated in holidays roads in the West Country. The advent of mobile phones made the need for roadside telephones redundant, and the last of the Royal Automobile Club telephones were removed from service. Roadside assistance is now provided by vans and recovery vehicles. Until the early 1970s, the Royal Automobile Club did not have a formal onward to destination service for members. If the patrolman was not able to complete the repair on the roadside, arrangements were made for the Royal Automobile Club approved garage to tow the vehicle and repair it at the owner's cost, with the owners being responsible for making their own arrangements for travel by public transport or hired vehicle. This changed in the 1970s with the first of the low loading vehicle transporter fleet and the introduction of the high membership tire to the recovery service. Similarly, until the early 1980s, the roadside assistance service was limited to locations away from home, which only changed with the addiction of the at-home level of service. In 1978, the associated section was split off to form Royal Automobile Club Motoring Services Limited and subsequently sold in 1999, now renamed Royal Automobile PLC. Facilities. The club is one of the best equipped of all the Paul Mall Gentlemen's Club. It possesses Edwardian Turkish bath, renovated in 2003-04, an Italian marble swimming pool, squash courts including a doubles court, a snooker room, three restaurants, two bars, a fully equipped business center, the Sims Center opened in 2013, and a club shop and a small post office. Formerly, the basement also contained a bowling alley and a rifle range. 
For more information on references, see the web page. Thank you.